Polyjet is um, a wide range of materials, but it's more of a prototyping technology. Some customers do use it for additive manufacturing, but they're a bit specialised in what they do. Um, I would say a good 99% of our customers for Polyjet systems use prototyping materials. And the range of materials it can do is everything from sort of rigid plastics, clear plastics, right through to flexible rubber-like materials. DDM's a term for manufacturing, direct digital manufacturing, it also gets called additive manufacturing. It's basically, um, with a 3D printed component, we start with nothing and we add material all the time. So additive manufacturing or direct digital manufacturing is the term that's used. The main advantage for it is if you're manufacturing in small quantities or small volumes, you have the facility to make five of something, six of something, 20 or off very quickly and very easily at very low cost. And then if you need to change the design halfway through the process, the next five, the next six can be a totally different design and there's no extra cost added into it. The entry level machines that you see for sort of a thousand pounds for the home hobbyist market are the technology we were selling 30 years ago, 25, 30 years ago. So basically the advancements in technology that we've had is what makes our technology different. So if you take for example a simple system that you would buy for a thousand pounds, one of the key differences it doesn't print in an oven. Our technology prints in an oven which gives us total control over the build envelope. Also the materials you have at your disposal. The entry level machines basically will print in a simple PLA or something like that. We have a vast array of materials ranging from simple ABSs right up to things like Altem 9085 which is aerospace grade ABS. We work with the customer in the initial stages of purchasing a machine so we help them develop the application they've got that they're buying the machine for. So we work with them in those initial stages to get the correct machines and materials for their application. We then work with them after they've had the machine in developing that application and developing more applications within their business. So we have at our disposal a whole array of materials that we can supply, but we also have a massive amount of technical expertise so we can help them evolve the product for them. So for argument's sake, with direct digital manufacturing and additive manufacturing, you need to control the internal structures on the parts. We can work with the customer to help them do that and give them our expertise in getting them to the stage they need to be at. We work with our customers to try and help the customer develop a material for their specific applications. So if a customer has a, an application where there isn't a material currently available and we can't find a material that will do what they currently need to do, we'll work with them, with the manufacturer strategist, to try and help them get to the, where they need to be with the materials they need for their specific application. We go everywhere from jigs and fixtures right through to end-used parts. End-used parts are components that could be manufactured in other methods but would cost a lot more and take a lot more time. Um, where the additive manufacturing or 3D printing has an advantage is that we can produce one part today and another part tomorrow on exactly the same machine in totally different complex geometries or complex shapes without any difference in cost. A customer base is so wide and so varied. It can be anything from um, a customer that's designing a simple injection moulded product right through to F1 aerospace, medical device. So it's such a very wide and varied customer base. A lot of our customers originally buy the machines for prototyping purposes, so they use them as a prototyping device. After a while that quite quickly develops into being used as either an additive manufacturing machine or a critical part of the design process. A lot of customers have developed into a stage now where the machine has become critical in their whole process of business to the extent where they make business decisions based on the output of the 3D printing machine. We have a purpose-built customer centre in Derbyshire where we have the equipment installed and we can demonstrate the equipment to customers but we can also work with customers to develop applications allowing them to expand their existing use of the equipment.